It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Got a bit of a interesting one to say the least here today. This is from Iceland. This is their chili cheeseburger pie. Iceland still doing a fantastic job of leveraging social media to grow their company. People are, 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 are of course, tweeting about this kind of stuff, talking about it on YouTube, because it's different. You don't see this type of thing in your regular Tesco's or your Morrison's or your Asda. And it shows that you can grow a company much bigger than it already is from the use of social media. Honestly, it's the way forward. And Iceland are doing a terrific job of, of just using social media to, to, to leverage and grow their company. Right. That said, 386 grams chili cheeseburger pie. That's what they look like. Let's take off this. Ooh. I quite like this idea because it's uh, it's just a bit of tin. It's just a bit of metal. All the plastic gets taken away. So we're going to separate them a little bit, give themselves a little bit of space. What it is, I've noticed, and I might before I put them in the oven. I won't do it while you're here because... It'll take too much time. You might be able to notice there's some cheese there that's fallen off the, the top of these pies. So I'm not going to put it straight in the oven. I'm going to put the cheese from the foil tin back on top of the pies, then get them back in the oven. But they look pretty decent, don't they? 45 minutes, gas mag 6, 200 if you've got an electric oven. I'll see you when these things are cooked. Okay, this chili cheeseburger pie is ready. Let's get it out of the oven. I don't know on this. I really don't know. The cheese was always 40 minutes. The cheese was always going to go slightly charred. And it looks to me like the puff pastry in places hasn't cooked. But in other places where it's been exposed to the oven, it's cooked quite well. So we're going to need... How am I going to get it out of here? I think I'm going to have to cut down the sides of this foil tray. Foil's a weird thing, isn't it? It doesn't... You can hold it and, it and it cools down rather. It just got out of the oven. So there we go. Cut it that way. So am I going to burn myself? Um, yeah, it's all stuck to the bottom. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a right mess of this. I'm just going to eat it as it is in this weirdly shaped foil tray. Otherwise, it's just going to make a right old mess. And you guys are not going to be able to see it for what it is. So I've got a knife. I'm going to cut it right down the middle. Oh, it's right right stuff to the bottom of that tray that's a right mess absolute right mess no oh, i'm just yeah already you've got no option here but to chop this up into dog's meat There's, you can't get the stuff off the bottom. It's all stuck there. Um, it's a great big burger, chilli burger, wrapped around in a bit of pastry. 
It was three pounds to buy. But fair play. Putting my slight annoyance to the side. But you're going to be annoyed, aren't you? That's a natural reaction. You've just come in from work, maybe. You thought this is going to be a good thing, this chilli cheeseburger pie. It all looks nice on a plate. But how on earth are you meant to get it off this foil tray if it's stuck to the bottom? So you're going to naturally be angry and slightly annoyed. But if you can get over that and not throw it out the window, it's actually pretty decent tasting food. The chilli, <clears throat> the chilli on the burger is great. Pastry's slightly soggy. A soggy bottom, as some people say. The cheese is completely burned. Here it is, the cheese. It's stuck to some burger, so... Here's your chance to really try the chilli cheeseburger right here. They've used that chilli oil stuff. Not quite the Carolina Reaper, but it's slightly in the same vein. That it's really tasty. Can't get away from that. The fact that the the burger is very, very tasty. It almost makes you forget that most of the pastry is stuck to the bottom of this foil tin. I think on this occasion, I think Iceland, because of the way they've set up now in bringing new stuff out all the time, and getting people to post it on social media. It's a great marketing tool. I think they've rushed this. I think this could have been done. This could have been executed a bit better. Maybe make it into an actual pie where you just put the pie on a baking tray and then it, you just pull the pie out and it's got a cheeseburger middle. I am getting to the part now where I can show you this cheeseburger base the stuff. Look at that. There you go. It's completely it's completely stuck to the base. Not often. Do Iceland get it wrong? The cheeseburger pizzas they make, the cheeseburger fries, Philly steak fries, some of the Carolina Reaper pizzas and stuff that they do. It's all bang on. It's all spot on. They know people are going to be talking about it on social media. But if they're in a position now where they're rushing products out because they feel the need that they need to keep this escalator of, of of new content coming because i tell you what as a creator as a youtube creator we feel that pressure too we we feel that same pressure to continuously keep reviewing stuff like this never mind making it 
maybe the, maybe Iceland need to slow down a little bit. Slow down a little bit and just make sure they're getting things right. The burger's good. The burger's really tasty. It's got a lovely chilli kick to it. <laughs> Where are we? Right. Uh, chili beef burger, 41%. Uh, beef, breadcrumbs, wheat flour, cayenne pepper, paprika, cumin powder. It's really tasty. And I tell you what I like about it. Yeah, it's 37% puff pastry, by the way. There's no E numbers. There's no E numbers. It all looks above board. Chili beef toppings and white wine vinegar, cumin, dried onion, dried garlic, chili powder, mozzarella cheese. It's all proper stuff. It's not like they've manufactured this cheap chili pie, cheap chili cheeseburger pie. They've actually made a really decent pie here, but they've packaged it all wrong. Packaged all wrong. It's really tasty. I'm gonna I'm gonna rate it. Like how would you say you've made this <coughs> pardon me <coughs> for you and your partner? How are you meant to get it off? Look, I mean I can ruin this now because I can because I'm I'm gonna show you, but look, I mean it's just all stuck and broken and you're going to serve this to your partner like that. You're going to go, there you are. There's your tea. And they're going to go, they're going to be looking at you thinking, what have you done to me? I didn't work all day to come home to that. So yeah, bit of a shame with the packaging. If they can work on the packaging, that is really, really, really tasty. So I'm going to take a couple of marks away from the packaging. But other than that, it's a tasty, tasty, tasty product. It's a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.